All right. Graham confronted Myron about his strict rules for girlfriends. Got my new mushroom coffee. We're going to try this out. So Let's at watch. what point, though, does trust factor into that? Like, let's say her friend's getting married or, I don't know, her friend's celebrating a birthday. There's, yeah. there's 15 of her friends going out. She wants to join. Yeah. At what point does trust play into that? Where it's like, you don't want to tell them, no, don't go and hang out with your friends because they're going to a club. I mean, to me, that just seems like a little... Well, I was, I was, I, I yeah. say, you, you you can't control a girl. You, right. you obviously can't do that. You're not no. going to tell her. You're going to stay inside. You, right. The only thing you could control is what you do and how you respond. You want to go? Cool. You're single when you come back. But but there's got to be a line here, right? <laughs> like, but but no, that's not manipulation at but, all. But but let's that's just having say, boundaries and not acting on it. Manipulate, handle or control a tool, mechanism, etc. Typically in a skillful manner. Yep. Uh, he manipulated the details. Sure. Control or influence a person's decision. That example. Well, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Let me give my example. Sure. Okay? Go ahead. Uh, one year relationship. Mm -hmm. She's going out with her friends, celebrating a birthday party. It's sure. Girl thing. Fifteen girls are going to be there. She's known them forever. Mm -hmm. You would tell her no. You can't go to that because you're going to a club. I would tell her. You can go and do whatever you do, but you will be single when you return. But why? Why, why would that make sense to throw out a relationship like that, that otherwise is good? Because if she respects you, she wouldn't have went in the first place. But that, but that seems like more like an ultimatum that you're placing on it's her. It's not an ultimatum. She has a choice to make. Okay, I but, that, say, but that's an ultimatum. <laughs> no, that, no, it's she, like, no, no, no. It's, she could do it. She's completely free to do whatever she wants because the thing is, is that she's putting the, she's putting the relationship in a risky situation. Why? Why would she be? Don't you? What, it, would why, you what, trust her? Because let's no. be honest yeah. here. Do you know what are nightclubs for? Well, here's the thing. So I will say in general. Oh, okay. In general, yeah. nightclubs are for meeting other people, okay. flirting, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I get that. But I've also seen just as many innocent encounters where women want to go to both dance with their friends, have a great time, and I don't see the issue with that. I think it really depends on the context. I think it depends so on like, the context as well. Like if it's yeah. all of her friends and they're like, hey, it's, you know, so-and-so's birthday, you should come. And it's a really close friend of their birthday. It's like, you're not going to tell the, like, oh, sure. It's not an ultimatum, but effectively <laughs> it is, right? You can't set that on the, uh, on your, well, I suppose you could, right? On your girl though. Uh, and and expect that like, I don't know, it's, it, it's her friends, right? Unless if she was leading the charge and she was like, everyone, let's go to the nightclub and she invites all of her friends, but she doesn't invite you, that might be a little bit different. But you have to have some compassion for her because you also understand that she has a, a duty or a, do, a diligence to her friends in the same way that she does to you. Remember we mentioned earlier, right, about there being bad people in the world, right? And you don't really know who the person is, like being bad. Mm -hmm. So for example, in that environment, there's bad people. Now she might be an angel, she might be perfect, but her friends may be like, yo, LaQuisha, don't worry about your man at home. Just have fun tonight. We're all lit. We're all drunk. And that one encounter of that one bad friend could spoil the whole group. I'm just saying the environment there yeah. can be tainted. Now, is it going to happen? Who knows? We're yeah. just saying if you have a man at home, why even put yourself in that situation? Why? It's, it's not a good look. Like you're going to be in an area where there's a bunch of thirsty men offering your girl liquor, trying to dance with her, and, put them, and it puts the girl in a bad position. Here's the other thing, too. Mm -hmm. She could get drunk and something could happen and then next thing you know bam like she's off her kiss another dude or... all right i got a lot of things to say first of all yes mine is right and he's wrong you can't control your girl you can definitely manipulate them it is her choice but it is also an ultimatum you can play that card and she's gonna have to make a decision right so she's technically free to do whatever she wants and then there's a repercussion to that i wouldn't go as extreme as, as he is um, if it's someone you care about, if it's someone you've been with for many years and it's friends that, sh you know, she's been, she knows for many years and you know them, then it doesn't fucking matter, bro. You're not going to be like, no, you can't go. No, you come home and I'm leaving. Like, that's gay. That's gay. Now, I'll say this. Before you even get with your girlfriend or your fiance or your wife, you need to vet who she is around. You need to vet her friends. You need to vet who influences her. So I think if you vet her friends and understand who influences her and, you know, where she came from and what she's about, that friend group, you're not going to have that issue. 
But if you don't, if you just skip right into the relationship and then all of a sudden she's like, oh, I want to go with my friends. And now you're sitting there thinking, who the fuck are her friends? Are they wild? Are they respectful? Can they handle situations? Are they mature? Do they move correctly at the club? Do they fall into influence at the club after a few drinks and dudes are offering it? Hey, come over here to the booth. So with that context, disagree with him. Um, I don't know. And just in general, it's kind of gay. It's like, you know, if it's someone, if it's someone you trust, if it's someone you care about, you're, you're going to know who their friendship circle is. You're going to know who their, sorry, their friend circle is. You're going to know who's di- who directly influences them and who's around them. So you don't really need to necessarily hand out those ultimatums or just those decisions. How get many girls dude. get looking at Miami have boyfriends and we're like, yo, boyfriend, we, we didn't even know. It's like, yo, legit. Bro. And, yeah. it's funny. Bachelor at parties, bro. Oh my God. Yeah. Come to Miami. It's, it's crazy. a bunch of girls. Oh, they're just chilling by themselves. Before you know it, there's a gang of guys in there, in their room. And I'm just saying, bro, yeah. things happen. So don't be dumb about it. Be smart about well, here's it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I refuse mm. to give a woman the comfort of security with me as her boyfriend while she can simultaneously and behave as though she's single. I have boundaries and standards and this is what it comes with it. Because the thing is, is that if a girl truly respects you, she's not gonna wanna go to the club. She's not gonna wanna be around her friends that wanna go ahead and do all this extra stuff. Single, single life. Yeah, like, like she's not gonna wanna behave like she's single when she's with a man that she actually admires and respects. And my thing is, if she wants to go to the club, that's cool, but you no longer are in a relationship with me because I'm not gonna look stupid sitting at home while you go out and behave like you're single. So everything he says is it's 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 on the fine line. It's the gray area, right? He's saying it, he's ultimately giving the girl he's making the girl choose and make a decision, and she has the freedom to do so. But there's repercussion, rec- repercussions. So he's right and he's wrong. But where I disagree with him is, you gotta live life, right? Like you can't control every single aspect of your life. You can't take away every single liability of your life. You can't take away all liabilities from your girlfriend's life or your wife's life or your fiance's and all her friends you can't and i understand you know don't try and get yourself in those situations but it's like to the point where it's like so what the fuck can she do just be home with you and she doesn't want to go out sure that's one aspect of having a relationship and being with you but bro so now your girlfriend your girl's like a loser she got no friends let her go have some friends let her go do her thing I, that's the, this is the first point I actually would yeah. say. I, I have a pretty strong disagreement. To, I Fair think, enough. look, that's if fine. you trust your partner and you trust their friends, because also it's you, your due diligence as your, you know, your partner's partner to get to know her friends and to understand who she go. likes hanging out with, because she probably wants that too. And if you can trust everybody and they're all going out to the club and she wants to have a good time, I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. But if you set this, not ultimatum, but if you make this apparent in the it's beginning, a boundary. Of, uh, this boundary apparent in the beginning of the relationship, such as, hey, if we're dating, I don't want you going to the club. It makes me uncomfortable. Uh, it, would you do me the respect of not going to the club? I think that's fine because that's just a preference at that point, right? And I think all preferences are probably okay. You ever been to a club? He's right. That's what I just said. You vet your girl's friends. You vet who's around her. You vet how they act and how they move. So... Honestly, if, if you're, put it this way, if your girl wants to go out and her crew moves correctly, you don't really have to worry. Say her, she goes out and her crew, her, her girls have mans, you know, they have boyfriends, but they just want to go dancing or whatever. If they move correctly, yeah, they can go do that properly in a, in a, in a mature fashion. And if anything were to happen, it's like one or two phone calls and people pull up and it's fine. It's handled. It, it, but if your girls are wildin' and they like to lead men on and act, um, you know, like be inviting, and then the drinks start to come along, that's where it goes wrong. So you, you can't have that. Yeah. What was that club? People dance. What else? Drink. What does that lead to? Dancing and drinking. <laughs> Sex. That is one of the potential outcomes, <laughs> but that that's not a, a one-to-one ratio. I've been in many freaking clubs in this world. I've been around high-end people, women. And yes, the club is, it's a place of compromise, per, perhaps. But I've been in many clubs around many fucking women and drinks, and I've stayed true to myself. You know, if I was there to network, I was there to network. If I wanted to be there to talk to people, then I was there to talk to people. It depends on the person, depends how you move. But he is right. And you go to the club, you have a few drinks, you let down your guard, and then shit kind of gets loose. So there's the potential. 
Geo. It's not like you just go to <laughs> So here's the thing. I didn't. The, here's, here's, I think this is where the disconnect is. Dance and do that. This is where the disconnect is. Yeah. Disconnect is this. <laughs> I think you guys grossly underestimate like how easy it is for women to get sex. And since it's easy for women to get sex, the threshold for them to cheat is also easier as well. It's a sliding scale that works together. Like for men, but it's very difficult yeah. to get sex. That doesn't mean they always want sex though because it's always available. It doesn't mean they're going to take it. But here's my thing. Yeah. I look at it. If your girl is out dressed provocatively and seeking attention, that is cheating. And some people might look at me like, whoa, what do you mean? It's because men and women are different. A man has to actually go out there, put his nuts on the line, talk to a girl to initiate some type of interaction. Women don't do that. Women rarely, if ever, approach men. How do they do it? They do it by exposing their sexuality. Men show their charisma, women show their bodies. Yeah, but how would that be any different from a guy driving down with like, you know, a Bentley convertible with a nice watch on? Because you still well, got to put in work. Outfit. You still have to put in work to get that girl. Even though the Bentley and the watch, yeah. all it does, it gives you another 20 seconds to, to, that is to build attraction, if anything. Like, it's still very difficult as a man. Even let's say you... All right, so he, he's right and wrong again. I think this is why a lot of people listen to Myron. Because he, he walks the fawn line and he... he, he he turns that fine line into a solid line that's very, you know, you can't cross that. So, yeah, I agree with him. If, you're, if your girl's dressing provocatively, she's flaunting, she wants to go out there and get attention, I would say perhaps it is a little bit of a form of cheating. But let's have a different perspective. <clears throat> okay, and this perspective is called human nature. Where people are naturally attracted to other people in this world. So you're going to tell me if my girl is, you know, me and her are together and she's attracted to me. So now she can't be naturally attracted to anybody else. And if she is, that's cheating. That's kind of a ridiculous notion. So the point I'm making is, yeah, if you go out um, and she wants some attention. And let's say she worked hard or she, she dressed up nice. And she works out. She has pride in her body, pride in her mind, pride in herself. And she wants to flaunt and, you know, get some attention to make herself feel good. I think that's fine. Where the line gets crossed is when she starts to um, participate and um, basically interact with on the attention, you know. I think there's nothing wrong with having pride in your looks or what you do or what you drive or what you wear, but it's how it's how it's your demeanor and it's how it's your character. Okay, obviously if a girl's walking around and she's provocatively looking sexy and trying to get attention, right then and there you you already qualified. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna think okay she wants attention she likes the attention. But if if girl's walking around and she looks really nice she's you know sexy and she's not giving anyone the time of day. That's a totally different situation. You're going to wonder who the hell is that? She looks great and everyone's looking at her. So that gives her a sense of, um, you know, like accomplishment and uh, she feels good about herself, but she's not giving anyone the time of day. You got a Bentley and a nice watch and everything else like that. If you're a girl will still yeah. curve you. Yeah. Like, nice. But a girl, on the other hand, she could go into a club and go, ah, and dudes will still smash her. <laughs> but if you go into a club, it, ah, you go go to jail. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the See, same. But I think if you do that with confidence, you <laughs> walk up to me. Yeah, dude. They're going to be like, game yeah, over. Like, no. yeah, I'll bring up this point, too. Like, they always make the, uh, the point of you got to be a successful man, which is true. But there's also these anomalies in life, man, where like the weirdos get the girls and it doesn't make any sense. Perfect example would be like that Pete Davidson guy. Like, look at that dude. Out of shape, skinny, tattoos, smoker. Weird, but he's funny. Somehow he charms girls. I think he's a good looking dude. I don't think he's extraordinary. Somehow he gets like these top tier girls that everyone wants. Doesn't make sense. I, in high school, I knew a lot of strange guys who all of a sudden got, you know, these, these nice girls and they were average. Like the dude was average. So it didn't make sense. That always happens. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. 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 That's who you are. Yeah. And you are unwavering. <laughs> she will be attracted to that because but, that is who you are. And you're but the thing is, is that so the th people hate this, but the reality is there is a double standard. Men and women are not the same. There's behaviors that are completely unacceptable for women, and there's behaviors that are completely unacceptable for men. And that's okay. And my thing is, is that women get mad at double standards that don't benefit them. 
That's where they complain about. I look at it. If you're in a relationship with a man, you like that man, etc. And he tells you, hey, these are my boundaries. And you want to go out to the club with your girls and behave like you're single? Cool. You are effectively single at that point, And that man reserves the right to walk away from you. Well, he just changed the context. You go to the club and you act like you're single. Obviously, that's not that's not going to happen. Like, yeah, leave her. Anyone would be, you know, smart enough to do that. But with the context they were given, like he said, oh, she's she's going out with her friends of like 10, 15 plus years. Like, could be a different situation, but you got to vet your friends, your girlfriend's friends.